In this video, we're going to be having a look at roots of polynomials, but in particular, the substitution method. So let's have a look at this question here. It says the cubic equation 2x cubed plus 3x plus 3 equals 0 has roots alpha, beta and gamma. Find the value of 1 over alpha minus 2 plus 1 over beta minus 2 plus 1 over gamma minus 2. Now notice what we're being asked to find is the sum of three roots, but they've all been transformed in the same way. They've had two taken from them, and then the reciprocal's been found. Now, when we're asked to find the sum of transformations of roots like this, when the same thing has been done to all three roots, that makes possibly a substitution method the more favourable and efficient option. So what would help is that we had a new equation, but that had roots 1 over alpha minus 2, 1 over beta minus 2, and 1 over gamma minus 2. So we want a new equation, say in terms of u, where u equals 1 over x minus 2, i.e. our x root, 1 over that take 2, should be our u root. Well actually we can get an equation like that by doing a substitution where the u roots are 1 over the x roots minus 2. Because we can rearrange this to get it in terms of x. So x minus 2 equals 1 over u. Which implies that x equals 2 plus 1 over u. So now we can get this and sub it back into our original equation. To get an equation, a new equation with the roots that we want. So again what we wanted here, we wanted our u roots to be 1 over our x roots, take 2. So if we rearrange that for x, then now we've got an x value, i.e. that, which we can sub back into the original equation to get us the new a new equation with the roots with desired properties. So let's sub that in. So we've got 2 lots of 2 plus 1 over u cubed plus 3 lots of 2 plus 1 over u plus 3 equals 0. So let's expand this now. Let's simplify it. So 2 lots of... And let's do a little bit of side working here. Let's try and expand 2 plus 1 over u. And it's much quicker to use the binomial expansion in this case. So we've got 2 cubed plus 3 lots of 2 squared times 1 over u plus 3 lots of 2 times 1 over u squared plus 1 over u cubed equals 8 plus, so 3 times 4 is 12 over u plus 6 over u squared plus 1 over u cubed there it is. So two lots of 8 plus 12 over u plus 6 over u squared plus 1 over u cubed. Let's multiply this bracket out as well. Plus 6 plus 3 over u plus 3 equals 0. Multiplying that out now we'll get 16 plus 24 over u, plus 12 over u squared, plus 2 over u cubed, plus 6, plus 3 over u, plus 3 equals 0. Let's gather up all the terms now. So we've got 16 plus 6 plus 3, that's 25. Plus, and let's gather up all the 1 over u's. So 24 of them there, 3 of them there, plus 27 over u. Now let's gather up all the over u squareds. Well, actually, we can see there's only one of them, 12 over u squared, plus 2 over u cubed, equals 0. Now turning that into a polynomial, multiplying everything by u cubed, on both sides we get 25 u cubed, plus 27u squared, plus 12u, plus 2, 
equals zero. And there we have it. We've got a polynomial now where all of the roots, instead of being alpha, beta, gamma, are one over alpha minus two, one over beta minus two, and one over gamma minus two. So we want the sum of all the singles of the roots. Well, we've got A here equals 25, B equals 27, C equals 12, and D equals 2. Well, the sum of all the singles is always minus B over A. So that implies that 1 over alpha minus 2 plus 1 over beta minus 2 plus 1 over gamma minus 2 is minus B over A equals minus 27 over 25. Now that's not the only way that this question could have been done. Let's do it without substitution now. So first of all, what we do with a question like this, write down the values of A equals 2, B equals 0, there's no coefficient of x squared, C equals 3, and D equals 3 as well. So that means the sum of all the singles, alpha plus beta plus gamma, is minus B over A, which is 0. The sum of all the doubles, alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha equals C over A, which is 3 over 2. And the sum of the triplets is minus D over A, which is equal to minus 3 over 2. So there are all the identities to do with the roots. Let's now try and do something with this expression here to try and see if any of these things that we've just found the value of appear. So let's add the fractions. So 1 over alpha minus 2 plus 1 over beta minus 2 plus 1 over gamma minus 2. Adding those together, well, first of all, we need to find a common denominator. So let's do that. Uh, let's multiply the denominators together. So the common denominator that we've got is alpha minus 2, beta minus 2, gamma minus 2. So the numerator here, the first one, we multiply by beta minus 2, gamma minus 2. So we're going to do the same to the top. Beta minus 2, gamma minus 2, plus alpha minus 2, gamma minus 2 plus alpha minus 2, beta minus 2. Just extend that fraction line there. There we go. Right, so let's multiply out the top and the bottom now and see what happens. Equals, so we're now multiplying it out. We get beta gamma, minus 2 gamma, minus 2 beta, plus 4. Then multiplying out the next bracket, plus alpha gamma minus 2 gamma minus 2 alpha plus 4 again plus alpha beta minus 2 beta minus 2 alpha plus 4 all divided by let's multiply out that first pair of brackets now we get alpha beta minus 2 beta minus 2 alpha plus 4 times gamma minus 2. Let's gather up terms on the numerator now to try and see if we can uncover any occurrences of these things that we've already worked out. So I can see that there's pairs there we can multiply to get that or multiply together. So there's a pair there, beta gamma, I see there's alpha gamma, 
and I say this alpha beta, right? So I can gather those up. Alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha. I can also see that there's some singles there as well. So there's two gamma, two beta, another two gamma, two alpha. In fact, there's two lots of two of all of those, all negative. So if I take out minus four as a factor, then I've got alpha plus beta plus gamma. Then there's plus three lots of four, so plus 12. Multiplying out the denominator now. So this time the first term I get alpha beta gamma. So alpha beta gamma. That's those there. Minus 2 alpha beta. Then minus 2 beta gamma. Plus 4 beta. Take 2 alpha gamma. Plus 4 alpha. Plus 4 gamma. Take 8. Just extend the denominator. And I'm going to sit, do the same to the denominator. Try and see if there's any occurrences of what we worked out before. So I'll copy that just for quickness. So I can see I've got an alpha, beta, gamma. That can stay where it is. Alpha, beta, gamma. We know the value of that. I can see there's pairs there. Pairs of roots multiplied together. So if I take out a factor of minus 2. I get alpha, beta, plus beta, gamma, plus gamma, alpha. Then I can see there's some singles there as well. So 4 beta, 4 alpha, and 4 gamma. So take out a factor of 4, plus 4, alpha plus beta, plus gamma, take 8. Right, so now we're going to sub in what we worked out before. So alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha, the sum of the pairs we saw was 3 over 2. So this part here is equal to 3 over 2 equals 3 over 2, take 4 lots, so the sum of the singles, alpha plus beta plus gamma, was just 0, so plus 4 lots of 0, plus 12, over, so the sum of the, tri uh, the triplets is minus 3 over 2, So minus 3 over 2, minus 2 lots. And we saw before that the sum of the pairs was 3 over 2. Plus 4 lots of 0, take 8. And putting that into a calculator. So fraction over fraction, 3 over 2. Take away 4 lots of 0, plus 12, over, minus 3 over 2. Take 2 lots of 3 over 2. Take 8, equals minus 27 over 25. Exactly the same as before. Now, I wouldn't recommend doing it this way, but I just want to illustrate how much easier the substitution method is when the same thing has been done to all three roots. Both ways end up with the same answer, but in this instance, the substitution method that I showed you of finding a new equation with the desired roots was far easier, in my opinion, than this long-winded method here. But both are valid, unless the question specifically asks you to do a particular method. For more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel 
And to find out more about our Skype tuition and revision courses, go to alevelmathsrevision.com.